If we leave nitro up here, you might just eat it all. We still have all this plastic left over from the greenhouse, so probably go ahead and use that for the chicken coop. Hopefully we got enough. Are you gonna go under there with Stuart Little? Cause I'm not. Ooh, here he is. Keeping the wind off of the coop um, is what's going to be most beneficial. I think Cody wants more ducks. Isn't that what you what you said, babe? I remember you said that. You said that, didn't you say that? You wanted more ducks? <laughs> you needed food? Yeah. I was getting real snappy. You never. It'll be so cold next week. I want to disconnect the solar panel just in case the battery does get below freezing, it doesn't get damaged. Thankfully, we chose a paint that is very washable. Cody has informed me that he is hungry. Baby, don't you understand that we only get one life? I wanna make it count, honey. Come on now and take my hand. and insulation. We still have projects lined up for the house, but we can't really cut wood outside because there's snow everywhere and our saw kind of got covered in snow the first day. That's okay, it's drying out. This is a little bit more important than continuing little interior design projects on the house. So I think we'll probably just do as much winter prep as we can and then see where yeah which we really haven't done our winter prep yet anyway because it hasn't gotten us cold yet i mean we've had a couple nights below freezing but nothing like negative 10 so i'm not really worried about any of the animals especially the boys the boys will be fine we've already had a full winter with them and they were fine however my girls i've called jenna at the life and pines which if you have not checked out their channel check out their channel i'll leave it right here they are amazing oh her videos are amazing but i called her asking her like what do you do since y'all live in a really cold climate um and she basically reassured me that the girls are fine just make sure you keep their feet from getting too wet and they have a nice place to perch and they can all huddle so i'm not too concerned about them there's a few things that we're going to do for prep work re regarding the animals cody has a list don't you yeah i have a small list okay we need to get out the heated waters so that way they have some water and it doesn't freeze. The battery box lid needs a sheet of insulation on it because we insulated the whole inside of the box, but not the lid. And I know a lot of y'all commented on that, but we had just run out of insulation, but we picked up some more, so we'll get that finished. We're gonna wrap the coops in plastic just to kind of help with the wind chill and keep the wind off the grills because while negative 10 isn't necessarily that bad, with the wind chill, it could be a lot worse. So. If we can keep the wind off them, that'll help a lot. And also keep the snow out of there without having to worry about the tarp flying off all the time. Yeah, and then we're gonna finish closing the end of the house. So I just gotta do a little bit of framing and then add the insulation in right there. Six things we need to accomplish. It's really not that much stuff. So hopefully it won't take us a super long time. This Texas girl hates the cold, loves the snow, hates the cold. So let me put on my jacket. 
let's get to it. Yeah, and while uh, there is still a lot of snow out there, the sun's warm and it's yeah. not even quick, so everything's turning into a muddy, slushy mess really fast. The first night that it snowed, it was so slushy, yet slick, and I busted my butt multiple times, so hopefully we have <coughs> no casualties today. You want to come? come? I was just gonna wait for it to warm up a bit and then I was gonna squeegee the deck, baby. Yeah, if we leave nitro up here, you might just eat it all. <laughs> Dig the nails in. If you guys don't remember in our last video or if you didn't watch our last video, we talked about Nitro and the fact that he's been sick recently and there's a lot that goes into that and I don't really necessarily want to get into it right now, but he doesn't have a ton of energy. So we're letting him hang out with us because he can be off leash. He's not a problem child. We're just letting him hang out with us as much as he wants to. And then when we see he gets kind of tired, we'll send him back in, but he, he wants to just kind of sleep all day and we don't necessarily want him to do that either because then, you know, he starts to get a little, a little stiff. stiff and a little shaky. So he's got to got to keep the engine running, you know. Yeah. And he loves eating the snow. Yeah, he does. And y'all don't ever really see the dogs. We don't really film them a whole lot. I kind of like to keep them somewhat personal. I don't know. I like I like keeping some of our life private, but they really are such a big part of our life. So maybe I'll start filming them a little bit more. When we started this whole journey, if you've been here since the very beginning, you know we had a lot of issues with our neighbors. And so I started to keep a majority of our life relatively quiet when it comes to our animals, just because of threats and stuff that had been made. But everything's pretty much calmed down and I'm feeling a lot less protective. So maybe I will start showing them a lot more. They are loving the backyard, hold on. You just wanna play fetch? I was saying that we haven't really moved the truck since it snowed, so this is about how much snow we got in total. Can you get it in one piece? Oh, it's a little bit short, but that thick. Probably inch, inch and a quarter, inch and a half. I don't know. Not too bad. More, more snow than this Texas girl has seen, so I'm grateful. We still have all this plastic left over from the greenhouse, so we'll probably go ahead and use that for the chicken coop. Hopefully we got enough. What is going on you guys? I wanted to take a really quick second and tell you about today's sponsor, Reolink and their Wi-Fi cameras. We've tried out several different systems since living at this property, just trying to find something that works for us, but everything has its own quirks. Reolink actually reached out to us wanting us to try their cameras and after looking at the specs and looking at online reviews, I was like, okay, Okay, they finally check off every single box that I look for in a security camera. First, let's talk specs. This is the Reolink Argus PT Ultra. It's 4K, has pan tilt mode, it's a battery as well as a solar camera, and it even has smart detection. And with their solar panel, you don't ever have to worry about a power source, which I love. And something else that I thought was really cool is watch this. That's a pan of 355 to 140 degree tilt. That is such a huge area that it covers. These are just a few of its capabilities, but here's a few more. Rocky.
camera quality is extra crisp and I am loving the app because I'm able to go in and adjust the settings specifically to how we want them for our home. If you have ever tried Real Link products, please leave your opinions down in the comments. We're very excited to try these cameras. We've been using them probably for about a month now. Um, Cody does not want to permanently install them in the house just yet. So we kind of just set them up as we need them whenever we leave. And then we have one on the girls' coop so that way we can monitor them 24-7. So far, I'm loving them, but I'm very curious to know your opinions and if you've ever tried them. And if you want to try them, you can use the code on the screen and the link in the description, and that will save you just a little bit of money off. Thank you so much, Real Link, for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to it. Oh, I think I need gloves. My hands are already frozen. These kid gloves are all that I found. I do have small hands, so that's why I buy kid gloves, but... These are totally not going to last. They'll get the job done for now. Do you know where any of the gloves are? I think in a Ryobi bag somewhere. Cool. Maybe yeah. under the cabinet? We have a lot know. of those, so... <laughs> okay, this will do. Yeah. If you're on a farm or a homestead and you don't have one of these rakes, man, you gotta get one because they're freaking awesome. We use it for everything. Everything. Good for clearing snow because it's got the nice flat edge on one side. It's good for tearing up their sand in there. I use it to get all the leaves out of the pond. Man, it's super, super useful. I'm concerned it's not going to be in, the, like, they're not going to get enough sunlight. That's, it's clear. But it's not like they can see out. I mean, it's only to get through the cold weather. Okay. We can always just fasten one side and then open it whenever the weather's fine, but, I mean, it's really just to keep the, the wind out when it's negative 10, you know? Yeah, I think I want to invest in, a, like, a clear, heavy-duty tarp like that. Yeah, I agree. Okay. And I'll keep it for Look at the lines, they're making squares too. You wanna go inside, Bob? You understood the difference between a question and a statement, because like I'm not forcing you to go inside. I want it to be your option, you know? I think he wants but to. I don't think you understand. Oh, he's a good boy. He's a really, really good boy. We can go inside. Go get in your bed. Good boy. So this isn't really meant to be permanent. It's really only meant to get them through the next couple weeks because we're gonna, or really the next week because the temperatures are gonna be so low and the wind's gonna be so bad. So we're not gonna do anything crazy with attaching it. We're just gonna kind of fold the end over and staple it into the wood. Will you uh, go to the other side and pull it taut as I go down? So it's square.
In case you were wondering, it's almost impossible to use a light duty staple gun on oak. So in hindsight, I probably should have just gone around the door frame. That way I could staple it to the door frame too, so it's not just loose right here. But this is only supposed to be for about a week, as long as, you know, the temperature comes back up afterwards, so. Well, I wouldn't want it stapled too much into the door frame because I don't, I want them to still be Yeah, I want it open for ventilation and I don't want it to get warm in there because then they're going to get used to the warmth, warmth and then yeah. the cold's going to be harder on them. It's really just to block that excessive wind, yeah, yeah. so. What, what do you girls think? Is that what you going to say? Yeah. We chilling? Do we like it? We're like, yeah, we're hungry. Feed us. <laughs> Tell you what, it definitely channels the stench because they stink a lot more now. There we go. Y'all are really on edge, aren't you, girls? I think we frightened them a little bit with all of the tarp noises. Up, Why are we so vicious? Once the shed's up, I'll get rid of the four wheeler and all that. Can you see that? Does it feel warmer in there? not the problem it's the little tubes get frozen because they're so small i usually just bring out a cup of water and fill them all up and then it'll melt itself okay. but is there any water in there at all yeah it's it's still completely filled like no, it's no, no, i still... mean in the cups do any cups have water no okay yeah if you want it yeah because the thing is still filled and i don't know how we're gonna do the extension cord so if you want to just get like a little tub of hot or warm water i'll kind of melt them for now how are we gonna do a heated water. I'm thinking most likely we're, we won't just set it out and plug it in or anything like that. We'll wait until, so it's supposed to freeze Friday night. So probably Saturday morning, we'll probably just bring it out here with a power bank in the morning and plug it in because it's gonna be too cold for their water to melt. We'll just set it up when it freezes during the day to make sure they have water while they're out. Are you gonna go under there with Stuart Little? Cause I'm not. Ooh, here he is. <laughs> I found him. I thought I saw him around. Stuart, you can't run in there, man. I mean, I don't want to take away their home, babe. It's the winter. It's the winter. They need somewhere to live and survive. They're not no, hurting they anybody. They're not hurting anybody. Look at you go. Right around, I'm going to smack myself. Excuse me. Okay, I just filled up their water, so... <laughs> We're just going to fill up these cups so the inside little tubes will melt and it'll start working again. And then, like Cody said, when it gets down to the really cold temperatures, I think Thursday night or Friday, we will come bring a power bank out and switch to the heated water. But they do take a lot of power and we are off grid, so we try to be conservative. That one's already filling on its own, so it's already melted. Let's see if we can get this one to fill on its own. Nope, it needs a little help rest in here. Oh my goodness! All right, chickens are done. Now we're working on the ducks. I just changed out their pool water and letting it fill up real quick. And I guess let's go ahead and wrap it in plastic. 
As far as water for the boys, they have a little heated pad thing that goes inside their pond that'll help break up the ice and make sure that their pond never gets frozen. And then for their actual water, we don't have multiple heated waters, so we'll monitor it. And if we need to go into town and go get one from Rural King, we definitely will. But we're here, we can monitor it, and we can make sure that we're coming out every morning and making sure they have fresh waters. Let's get it covered in plastic because keeping the wind off of the coop um, is what's going to be most beneficial. So we're just gonna do it like we did last year? Yeah. short but that'll do. You're about outgrown for that pond boys. Yeah I think in the springtime they're uh, gonna get a new house and a new pool. Yeah and I think Cody wants more ducks isn't that what you what you said babe? I remember you said that you said that didn't you say that you wanted more ducks? <laughs> You Maybe. said you said you wanted more ducks. Maybe. I want enough ducks to not need a duck house. Like I want a gang of ducks, so that way, if a hawk tries to come Rock. down and get them, they just all attack the hawk and kill them. Probably not realistic, but one could hope, right? If you want a whole lot of ducks and no duck house, you need to get us a well. So. Yeah, I know. That's really what it comes down to. They can live in the big pond. And then Cody found something to do with the last little piece of plastic. Yeah, we got a little bit left over on our firewood stack here. We're getting a little bit of sideways snow on it, as you can see. Here come look, babe. So most of the wood's dry, but like just the edges right here got a tiny bit of snow on it. So we'll go ahead and throw this little flap on and then that uh, should help keep the snow. I did already have one of these on here, but I think when we moved it, it might've got ripped or something. I don't remember. All right, the chickens are taken care of. The ducks are good to go. They're over there, new pool goofing. Mm -hmm. Let's go take coffee break. Coffee break for you, chip break for me. Still cold. I think I still am hangry. You never. I want food. You were right. You needed food? Yeah. I was getting real snappy. You never. I love the snow. <laughs> All right, so the next thing we have to do is the lid for our battery box. Actually, I don't know if we even showed any of the batteries after we got it all hooked up. So this is pretty much our setup now. Yes, I do need a little bit longer negative cable so it's not strung like that, but that's for a different day. Everything else is set up exactly the way I want it. I've put as much as 50 amps at a time into it, charging from the panels and I'll come out here and individually hold my fingers on each battery cable and none of the connections get hot or anything. We don't have any kind of voltage drop, so everything's working exactly the way it should. Um, but as far as finishing the box, we need to add one more piece of insulation for the lid of the box just because we don't have one. Whenever we built it, we ran out of insulation and only had enough to do all the sides. So, But I do have a battery monitor set up in here that monitors the temperature and we've had nights probably down into like 18 to 20 degrees so far and the coldest it's gotten in here is eight degrees celsius because it only tells me celsius for some reason that's still way above freezing temperatures so the insulation in the box that we built is pretty adequate so far but because we are going to be getting down to like negative 10 degrees next week we definitely want to add that last piece of insulation before then so let's go ahead and get that done grab a tape measure i forgot to grab one 
Actually, I think I can get away without a tape measure, at least for this first cut. So I can just line it up with the, the spaces right here. Um, move yours. So see how I got a little bit less space right here, I think. Can you do right there? Yeah, perfect. Man, I hate when this happens. We're so close to being able to use the line that's already made in there, but not close enough. So now I have to try and cut another line next to it. Because they're so close together, it always just makes it a little bit harder to be able to snap it cleanly. Why is it cutting real nice? Yeah. Ideally, I would have it attached to this piece of plywood. That way I don't have to try and fish it out whenever I need to get in here. But in reality, I don't really ever get in here that often at all. And I would rather it be a nice tight fit around all the plywood than have the convenience and it not be sealed as well, if that makes any sense. That's pretty much it. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing for our bubbler box. the battery was about 40 degrees the bottom of the box is about 39 so um, I'd say it's doing pretty good for insulating just need to move this a little bit same concept as the battery box we want it to fit in there nice and tight rather than having it attached to the wood and it not being quite as efficient. So I went ahead and pulled it back out. I'm gonna hook my battery charger up to this battery because it died a couple days ago. Um, we didn't really have any sun throughout the last week until today actually. But since it's gonna be so cold next week, I want to disconnect the solar panel just in case the battery does get below freezing. It doesn't get damaged because I don't really monitor this one quite as much and I don't have a temperature monitor on it. So I'm going to go ahead and get the battery completely charged up and then probably tomorrow I'll disconnect the solar panel. That way we don't have to worry about that while it freezes. Insulating battery box lids is now checked off the list. What's next, babe? Uh, I guess just close the name of the house. Cool. So the last thing we have on the agenda for today is we're gonna finish and closing the side of the house right here. And the reason we haven't finished that yet is, well, really a lot of reasons. Basically, we're still gonna need to move the pump house or turn it, move the door on it. That way, when we close right there, we can still get access to it. And as you can see, that's why I have kind of a door cut out right here. Um, and we, there will be a deck. Sorry. Yeah, and there's going to be a deck right here. We've also considered uh, with how much height we have digging out just a little bit to be able to add kind of like a root cellar and be able to store some food down there. All kinds of different reasons, but as usual, we're ADD and we have a thousand other projects going on because of that. So we just kind of move around a lot. 
So we have the frame already built over here, but it's just a tad bit too wide. So that's why it didn't get installed. So we're gonna start with taking this N2 by four off, trimming it just a little bit, and then getting that put in place. And then we'll go ahead and add the insulation. We're back in. I get that to stay by itself. He's always just creeping around the corner. <laughs> It's pretty dark and hard to see in there, but I'm just going to be using these same uh, nails with the plastic washers on them to be able to attach the board of the 2x4s. It's not perfect, but it's also not permanent and it's sealed. So that's the most important part is just to keep that extra little bit of heat in over this next week of terrible weather. And we still need to be able to access the pump house right here. So this needs to be able to be removable until we figure out what we're gonna do with the pump house situation, so. I'm excited to transform this whole entire side of the house. Rocky, he really wants to play ball. So you probably hear him whining. But the fact of the matter is, is that we have to get our sawmill good and going and get a nice area where we can um, dry our wood so that way we can start building the deck. Baby steps, I'm not really feeling like that's gonna be a project in the month of January, um, just because of how cold it's going to be. Mm -hmm. But leading up until spring, we'll start working on drying wood and using the sawmill more, and then hopefully getting the rest of the siding and deck um, completed. completed. But I think we're just trying to mostly focus on the inside of the house and knock a lot of that out before mm -hmm. we start focusing on like the exterior and all the finishing touches, if you will. Yeah, yeah. so pretty soon we'll probably uh, finish trimming out all the windows and the doors inside the house mm -hmm. and then probably finish the kitchen will be the next major inside project.
there's still a little bit of daylight and we could totally find stuff to keep us busy, I think we're probably just going to call it for projects for the day. I'm gonna make dinner, maybe start a fire, relax and just spend the evening with the dogs. We have to be in Illinois at 10 a.m. and while Illinois is really only like an hour and a half, the place that we have to be at Illinois is three and a half hours away, so. So we have to get up really early tomorrow. Yeah, it's always really rough on us, but that's where Nitro has all of his radiation treatments and it's really important for, to us to keep on top of that to make sure that he's getting the care that he needs. We'll be getting up bright and early in the morning actually before the sun even comes up. Mm -hmm. Typically we're in St. Louis when the sun starts coming up. Yeah, we're like just crossing into Illinois. Sorry we're being a little lazy today, but man, we're gonna be beat tomorrow, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Does anybody else live in sweatpants in the winter? Because I definitely live in sweatpants in the winter. Oh yeah, lean against the wall, covered in mud. Oh my God, someone shook over here. The whole wall is muddy. <laughs> oh my gosh, ma'am. It's okay, I'll wipe it down. Did you have fun in the snow mud today, huh? The floors Rocky. are literally covered in paw prints. Rocky. Muddy paw prints. It looks like I need to clean off this entire wall. The floors, unfortunately, I can't do a whole lot about because we don't have like a Swiffer or anything like that. We have a steam mop, but I'm gonna be honest, it doesn't work that well, so I need to invest in a Swiffer. Well, you've never even used it. That steam mop works great. We just don't have any pads for it anymore. Why you gotta call me out like that? Yeah. Anyways, I'm not gonna use the steam mop. I'm waiting to get a Swiffer, so. We might have to go to Walmart. Why, the floor's gonna bother you? They're soaked. How are the roads? If the roads aren't bad, we can go. I mean, I feel like everything's mostly melted now. You have all the snow melted, the roads are fine. Okay, we can go to Walmart if you want. Thankfully, we chose a paint that is very washable. So this yeah, is that's one good thing about Sherman paint. Yeah, so it's coming right off. <laughs> Crisis averted. How is there mud all the way up here? That doesn't make any sense. Because they shook. <laughs> I think that's all of it. What it's come down to? Yep. I think we really need a Swiffer. Yeah. I think I should really buy a Swiffer. What do you think? I think I want one. Yeah. I've been asking for a couple weeks now. Right. Most of the dogs are kind of prissy, but not Maya. Maya loves the mud, loves the snow, loves the river, loves just getting dirty every single day. It could not rain for like a solid, I don't know, couple weeks. It could be completely dry outside and she will find mud, dig it up, and then track it in the house. Hi, Rock. Thank you. So, thanks for constantly being the reason our house is disgusting. Do you want ham? Uh, I could do bacon on one. On one? Do yeah. you want two? 
All doggies with four paws need to get out of the kitchen. Rock, Maya. I guess just two. Just two? Yeah, I'll make another one. I'm still hungry. I'm feeling a little lazy today, so we're going to be using this roasted red pepper and tomato soup that's in a box. I guess that's what you would consider this. Yeah, in a box. I'll doctor it up a little bit, but it's tomato soup. Nothing fancy. Okay, Rock, you cannot be in the kitchen while I'm cooking. It rock around. It is my peppy. Go, 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 go. Oh, yeah. So appetizing. Yum. All right, I have my bacon going. I'm letting the soup warm up and then I'll doctor it up. And then I have everything for my sandwiches which I'm just using some multi-grain sourdough, some extra sharp cheddar, and then some Irish butter. Just trying to keep it simple, nothing fancy. Oh, that's good. Okay, you ready to eat, babe? Mm -hmm. Okay, yours is ready, but I still gotta make a pickle bowl for mine. Do you want me to cut them? Anytime I eat something like this, I need a pickle bowl. So just various vinegary, vinegary, vinegary pickles. Do some Wickles pickles. I don't even know how to pronounce this, but they're like deli sandwich pickles. And then one of our friends brought these to our house and they are so good, so I'll do one of them. It's like a okra, but it's spicy and sweet and vinegary. It's really good. And that's dinner. Stay. 